this video very rapidly goes through some calculator style questions, picking out some questions from past papers to focus on. Question one. We have to find this angle here. The trick here is to work through the diagram. 38 and 90, or 38 and 90, give us 128. So the leftover angle here must be 58, so 52, because 52 plus 128 is 180. So therefore that there is also 52. Opposite angles. Now these two angles here are the same because it's isosceles. So 180 take 52 gives 128. Then divide 128 by 2 to work out one of them, we get 64 degrees. Question 2 is a fairly standard trial and improvement question. We have put 3 into the equation and found it's too small. So the next job is to put 4 in to the equation, work out 4 cubed minus 5 times 4, and we get 44. Now we want the answer 31, so this is too large. So we then try 3.5. We put that in to the equation and we get 25.375. Compared to 31, that's too small. So we work our way up. 3.6 gives us 28.656. That's also too small. We then try 3.7, put it into the equation, we get 32.153. Compared to 31, that's too large. We have two adjacent values to 1 dp. One is too small, one is too large. But which one of those is closer to 31? This one here is closer to 31. Or this one here? Well, this one is over 2 away. This one is just over 1 away. So x equals 3.7 to 1 dp. Question 3 then tests a few basic area formulae. Now for a trapezium, the formula given in the front is a half A plus B times H. A and B are the parallel sides, H is the distance between the two sides. So a half 7.8 plus 14.8 times by 6.2. This is a bit of irrelevant information. We work that out on a calculator, 70. 0.06 centimetre squared. Then for the semicircle, a full circle is pi times radius squared. The diameter is 34, so the radius must be 17. So the full circle is pi times 17 squared, which works out to be 907.92. I want the semicircle, so I divide this by 2 and get 454 to 3 significant figures and that's the area of the semicircle. Question 4 then wants us to work out a graph of a function. We're given a rule and some x coordinates with y coordinates already worked out but when x is 1 what does this equation here equal? When x is 1, y equals 7 plus 2 times 1 minus 1 squared, which works out to be 8. And when x is 4, y equals 7 plus 2 times 4 minus 4 squared, and that works out to be minus 1. We can then plot this on the axes. So minus 2 goes to minus 1, minus 1 goes to 4, 0 goes to 7, 1 goes to 8, 2 goes to 7, 3 goes to 4, and 4 goes to minus 1. We can then join a smooth curve through those 
coordinates. When it then says solve equal to zero, it wants you to write down what these two coordinates here are, where it cuts through the x-axis. And that's about minus 1.8 and about 3.8. And the line of symmetry is the line which passes down through the curve and that goes through x equals 1. I've been a bit quick there, of course, you'd use a ruler in the examination. Question 5. Find x. In a parallelogram, these two angles here must add up to make 180. x and 4x is 5x, plus 15 is 180. Take 15 from both sides. 5x must equal 165. How many 5s in 165? The answer is, of course, 33 degrees. We then have some transformations to look at. So the first one is an L shape has gone around to over here. Describe fully that transformation. It's a rotation happening around the point zero zero and it's been rotated by one hundred and eighty degrees. And then in this part, what's happened to go from T to V? Well, T has become twice as big, but it's happened over here in the opposite quadrant. This is a called a negative enlargement. Rather than being twice as big in that direction, it's sort of flipped around. So a negative enlargement, fact two, it's been doubled, and it's happened about the origin. That is called the center of enlargement. So an enlargement, factor minus two, with the origin as the center of enlargement. Question seven gives a prism with a volume of 1089 centimeters cubed. We know the length and the question is, what's the area of the face? Well, to find the area, we divide the volume by the length, which gives us an area of 24.75 centimetres squared. Question 9 then looks at a number grid. This is a particular example, and here we want to generalise now, if this number here is n, this one here is one more, that's n plus one. This is two more, n plus two. That is nine more, n plus nine. So why is the sum of all these numbers a multiple of four? If we work out n plus n plus one, plus n plus two, plus n plus nine, we get four lots of n, 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 and n. One plus two plus nine is 12. This is the same as 4 bracket n plus 3. So 4 is a factor, therefore the answer is always a multiple of 9. Question 10, then do some algebra work. Expand and simplify. Well, 4 times c is 4c, and 4 times 1 is 4. Minus 3 times c, minus 3c, but now be careful. Minus 3 times minus 2 is plus 6. Then 4c, take away 3c is 1c. 4 plus 6 is 10. So the answer is c plus 10. Then simplify. 2 times 3 is 6. x cubed times x squared is x to the power of 5. y times y cubed is y to the power of 4. And then solve the inequality, equation solving. Add 1 to both sides. 7n is less than 3n plus 6. 
take away 3n from both sides, 4n is less than 6. So n is less than 6 over 4, or n is less than 1.5. And finally for this particular paper, we've got a triangle. We're told the area is 36. So a half times base times height is equal 36. The base is h plus 7. The height is h. This equals 36. If we expand this, we get a half h squared plus 7h equals 36. If we times by 2, h squared plus 7h equals 72. If we then subtract from both sides, h squared plus 7h minus 72 equals 0. Then to solve the equation, it's quadratic with a equal to 1, b equal to 7, c equal to minus 72. So the height h equals minus b plus or minus b squared minus 4ac all over 2a equals minus 7 plus or minus the square root of 7 squared minus 4a minus 72 all over 2 lots of a which if we then work it out on the calculator 49 is 7 squared take away 4 times 1 times minus 72 the bit under the square root becomes minus 7 plus or minus the square root of 337 all over 2. You work out the plus and the minus solution, but the negative 1 is a negative answer, so that cannot be h, it's the height of a triangle. The positive 1 works out to be 5.68 centimetres.